Cell Pack, your one stop shopping for rubber and plastic materials. We will be doing a demonstration on our Cell Putty BR, which is a, a creamy paste brush on fast curing platinum. Uh, you will see there's different color of the material one's purple, one's white, which are mixed together in equal amounts. So this material is very forgiving. Uh, you do not have to weigh it, but weighing is always the preferred way. Uh, we will now take and apply it over the piece, allowing a thin stream to flow onto the surface, which will alleviate some of the bubbles, hopefully all of the bubbles, uh, so you can get a perfect impression of your piece. As you can see, it's very creamy. It's very good flow control, so you can just apply it back and forth. Uh, we ran out of material here, so we're going to go right back in and mix some more up. It's very important to consistently keep moving along. If you have a large project, you can take and have pre-mixed cups. So each one can be mixed and added as you go along. We are just using a tongue depressor today. A uh, spatula could be used. I like also stainless steel kitchen spatulas. They're available in small. And you can see we're completing the surface. The material is starting to thicken a little bit. You do have just 10 to 15 minutes of a creamy time before it starts gaining in thickness. We're taking a hair dryer, applying a little blowing air pressure against the surface before she gels. Uh, this will, you see, allow the bubbles to come to the surface. Blowing air press puts pressure on there, which will help have a void-free internal surface when we pull our mold off. The mold is not quite ready, so we need to put on the finish thickness coats again equally spread the material over the surface we did wait for the prior coat to gel gel is a state to where it becomes unmovable again and we'll go back in, we'll make sure the bottom edges are flange, which is very important on the bottom base. This will become the upper lip as we make a mother mold. Sil Putty BR is a safe material to use even against the skin. Builds no heat and is ready to use in a short period of time. Now we will make the mother mold. We are taking some cast shell plaster and sifting it slowly into a cup of water. We are building a little mountain in the water. We're letting the plaster, cast shell plaster, wet out. And as you mix it, if it's too loose, add a little bit more. We are looking for a thick consistency. The cast shell plaster will, when applied to the surface, will pile and, and not flow all over. As you can see here. 
Now all we need to do is spread it out around, getting out to the edge of the purple rubber surface, keeping the mother mold anywhere from quarter inch to three eighths of an inch. The cast shell plaster will start thickening within 10 to 15 minutes. As it thickens, you can start controlling and shaping the surface much better for a nice flat supporting plaster shell to the rubber mold. We are just using a paint stick or mixing stick today. Again, a spatula could be used. To Twenty minutes later, the plaster is hardened. We are now pulling it off. Now we may pull the base master loose and pull the rubber mold from the original piece. This is an architectural molding that we have made an impression of today, which is gently pulled off. As you will see, we have all the ornate decorative detail and the rubber fits snugly into the mother mold.